you've always had to make a difficult decision after the game this evening. Yes, Mal, um, I, um, I just did uh, interviews with the television and, and, and the press um, because I wanted to address the fans right after the game. Um, I met with Jim after the game. He came in, uh, gave me a hug and said, I'm sorry, it just hadn't been good enough, which is the case, and, and with Lee as well. Um, you know, 1,700 fans here today, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. They've been brilliant all season, you know, and um, we've let them down. And, um, you know, I mean, I'm 64 now. I've been a fan. I was I was here at Easter Road in 1980 with 5,000 on fans when we won the league, you know, and so I've been one of them. And, um, you know, for me, um, it's not often I'm kind of lost for words. But it just hasn't been good enough. Since we came back from the World Cup, um, the results just haven't been good enough. Our away performance is just abysmal. And I um, wanted to give Jim every opportunity uh, to, um, to address that. And obviously we got another humiliating and embarrassing performance today. So uh, for me as chairman, um, I want to thank the fans for their support. It's been unbelievable. Um, and I want to apologise to them. Uh, I'm the chairman of the club, and um, I've seen through uh, a number of changes at the club. It doesn't matter that off the field we're doing very well, the academies are doing well. At the end of the day, it's about results on the field. It's not a lack of investment. And for me, the message to the fans is that I take total responsibility. I love the club. Uh, I love the city. and. Um, I'm determined with the rest of the board to get this right. Um, it's one thing having a vision and a strategy. It's another thing to get the right people to execute on it. And I've got it wrong. Um, and we will um, take stock um, tomorrow uh, where we go from there, because immediately we've got a game against St Mirren you know, on, on Wednesday. But our fans have been magnificent absolutely magnificent and I deserve all the pelters that I'm getting as chairman and uh, again I can only but apologize uh, for the last uh, uh, few weeks and uh, and thank them. But did you understand the anger of the fans at the moment? Oh yeah, yeah listen if I was out there as well I'd be I'd be exactly the same. Again it's not a lack of investment or endeavor. Jim has put his life and soul into this in the period that he has been here. And, um, you know, Aberdeen is um, a very, very attractive club to be at. The expectations, rightly so, are extremely high. And um, we just need to take stock and um, immediately and um, get a team in place for, um, get a team in place for, um, for the St Mirren um, and the mother well games that, that are coming up. But, you, but you, David, touched on me, but just the time scale wise, I mean are you gonna meet tomorrow and then you know Yeah, we're gonna we're to gonna communicate that with the fans as well. Yeah, absolutely. So the reason I wanted to do this was for the fans to hear from me that I take responsibility and um, I'm determined to make sure we get this right. And um, but I believe and we believe as a club internally we've got some really good people in the club across the board in all aspects. Things we're doing on fan engagement commercially, I know it means nothing tonight sitting here, 6-0, humiliating, embarrassing. Just for a minute, it's never nice people losing their jobs. Just, you know, there's a human cost as a factor as well, isn't it? And obviously our thoughts with Jim and Lee and their families. Yeah, and, and listen, Jim has been brilliant He's to deal with. Honest, transparent, extremely hard working. Um, you know, at the end of the day, our challenge right now is we can't defend. <laughs> we just can't defend. I mean, some of the goals that we lost there early today, when the game was even, you know, you, you just can't be performing like that. So we have to address this really quickly.